And how do you differentiate um, between, um, and this I'm saying because there are, there may be some people who take, I want to apply discernment to this process because some people may say that they can offer Shakti path and they can awaken these things in you. Um, but how do you different tell if they, that person is really uh, is Kundalini awakened or what they are saying <laughs> is just from the books? Oh, you know anyone? Oh, it's so. You have to trust your own intuition and your own guidance. Um, same with if you're working with plant medicine and you meet a shaman or something like that, and it doesn't feel okay, don't do it. It's just, you know, if it doesn't feel okay, then don't do it. And trust your own intuition, trust your own inner guidance, trust your gut feeling, trust your heart. Is this a person that you feel that you can trust? Um, being scared can be a part of it. I think facing our fears is important. But if it's like that uncomfortable feeling, feeling like, ooh, I don't know about this person, I don't want to be close to this person, then don't, you know. And 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 you ha everyone has their own inner guidance and trust it. Because sometimes it can be confusing when the person is saying uh, really good information, uh, and that could be from some 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 books or some but someone else who has had the experience. Uh, so because if a teacher is able to give the correct information, but not they don't have that kundalini experience um it's it i think it can be a bit tricky to to differentiate yeah. between what's real um an awakened person will radiate love if you feel love from them and, and you feel that you feel comfortable around them then trust that but I don't know. I don't know about Shakti Pats. Um, God is everywhere, and and for me, like I I can only go back to my own personal experience because I don't know. There might be people that had great experience with Shakti Pats. I don't know for my own. I just know from having given energy to the root chakra to my clients and it's not having been a good experience to them and, and me not wanting to do it anymore because of that so that's my personal experience which i talked about um god is everywhere and god is within us all and so I believe that I had my awakening because I wanted to know what god is I wanted to know god and I prayed to know God, and I found God. I didn't need to have an intermediate. Though I read the, the, the Yogananda, uh, Paramahansa Yogananda's book and other biography of yoga. So I feel like my guidance from men led me to that book and led me to start praying. And, you know, there, there are many teachers along the way, but... I find that they all point me back to to my own inner um, guidance. Right, so I think there's the, the danger is going to like, oh, this person knows more than me. This person, I need to ask everything. You know, the answer is always within. And, and it's within us all. It's it's even if you don't know Kundalini, you still have it within you. Everyone has it, even if you're not aware that it's within you. It's it's the life force that's keeping you alive. It's it's the life that you are.